on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Happy birthday, Izuku. Now you're seven years old. Thanks, Mom. Um, I got you something? Is it something to do with All Might? Maybe. Him just ripping in, into the president just looks... A ring. It looks nice, but why'd you get me a ring? Hmm. I don't know. Really, the person who seemed to really want to get rid of it is, and they did say it could help you get, make your wishes and dreams come true. Huh. Thanks, m Mom. Izuku just going back to his room. And goes. <sighs> the ring didn't cost much, but it seems like I, I possibly made him feel worse. I really wish I could just get him a quirk or something, but. Izuku, he's in his room. Just looking at the ring and feeling very sad and upset when it comes to the whole. Yeah. Can I really become a hero without a quirk? Which? Huh. Can he now? No one's told him otherwise. His mom really just apologizes all the time. She sees him cry about it. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky one of these days. But until then, him just going to sleep and pretty much forgetting about the ring after two months. However, then, so, oh, hey, Koski. Deck it. What are you doing here? Nothing. Okay. Can you leave? As then he sees something just poking at. Uzuku's pocket is. What's that? Nothing. Wait, you're into rings now? I. This I got it for a present. Huh. You should have asked for a quirk. Hmm. Yeah. Him just walking away before Bago could say anything else. You know what? Mom got me this ring. I might as well wear it at least once. As soon as he did, this woman appears out of nowhere. Like, Finally, someone's freed me. Then, hmm? Who are you? Huh? Oh. Uh. My name is Shahara. Um. Excuse me. Have you seen the person who's wearing my ring? What? Yeah, my ring. You know, is golden as well as it has. Wait. 
that's my my what my ring you're my master what no no please don't you don't please don't call me that well you are my master hmm so wait does that mean you're a genie Yes, yes, but we prefer to be called Jin. Spelled with a D, but the D is silent. Oh. Hmm. So does that mean you can grant wishes? I can, yes. Uh, how many do I get? For as long as you have the ring. Wow. That's amazing. Can you give me a quirk? What's a quirk? He's a good giving his best explanations. I, uh. Sorry, no. That I can't do. Oh. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, poor kid. Um. Uh. So. Quirks are pretty much powers, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. How about this? I know a way for you to get power. The only thing is you're going to have to do some traveling. Uh, is it going to be dangerous? Yes. Depending on where the objects of power are. Hmm. Okay. But I'm going to tell my mom that I'm leaving. He's like, Gee, you might not want, you might not want to tell her that I, uh, I'm a uh, real. What? Why not? Cause it could be disastrous, or she might try to take me away, and then you won't be able to, uh, you know. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. But how are we going to get there? Hmm. Well. <clears throat> how about a carpet ride? What's that? <sighs> oh, kids. As she summons a flying carpet, Izuku, hesitant, but decided to trust her. I wish they are whisked away to a brand new location up in the mountains actually um okay so where are we welcome this is where we'll find you. oh dear that's right what well Let's just say this one was the closest to find. However, what? You see, I took you to one of the world rings. And these rings are very powerful artifacts. In which they imbue the user with power, yes. Only thing is, they also have an emotion. And if you're not strong enough to overcome it, huh? 
So I need to be careful. Yes. Maybe I shouldn't hold hold or touch it yet until I feel like I'm ready. Which one is this one? This is the green ring of hatred. You can just guess what it has embedded in it. So, huh. Okay. So, what if I don't touch it or else it, you'll absorb it? It's not something to be taken lightly. Okay. Um, is there a way for me to grab hold of it without absorbing it? Yes. Mm. Let's see. Ah! And she just conjured up these gloves. Her. Okay, now. As soon as he picks it up. So as long as I have these gloves, I don't have to worry about absorbing it before I'm ready. Correct. Yeah, that's good to know. So, what now? Mm, I guess... We just go go back home. Really? Yeah. You already collect one of them, so. Wait, how many are there? Seven. Oh dear. Uh. Okay, so. Is this dangerous? Oh yes, that's why I want to warn you beforehand. Oh, yikes, that is terrifying. Believe me, I can, I believe, the, that is an understatement. As yes, this is pretty much Izuku trying his best not to drop this ring, trying not to absorb it by accident. Him being as cautious as possible. But then he sees Bogo bullying someone and he asks Shahira to hold it while he tries to calm Bogo down. He does, but Bogo beats him up instead with his friends joining in and or watching. Why did you do that? What? Why did you interfere? I don't want to bully people. But... That, that makes no sense. If... You could use the ring then if you... Yeah, but I would have been overcome by hatred. If I wasn't ready. Wow, now I'm starting to rethink some things. Huh? Nothing, nothing. It's just... Hmm. Either way, come on. As, yeah. Izuku is trying to... For lack of a better word, prepare himself for... The Green Ring of Hatred, which, uh, him being as nice as he is, though, yes, hatred is something everyone will experience. Izuku is one of the last people you would expect to ever really get angry or shown signs of hating somebody. And this ha just carries on until he's eight. Okay, I think I'm ready. Are you sure? Yeah. I've trained to the best of my ability. 
Now let's see if it bears fruit. Hmm. Very well. As she takes out the case holding the ring and uh, hands it to Izuku. <sighs> Upon him touching it, he absorbs it. He feels its power flow throughout his body, but then as he starts to flow up in the air, something hits him like a freight train. As he feels hatred, not just from every other past user, from anyone, or hatred from the world, he feels his own hatred. His hatred towards Bakugo, his hatred towards the doctor, even his hatred towards his mother. Bakugo, his old friend that start, just started bullying him because he was quirkless and his quirk was so great. The doctor, for saying, yeah, no chance in hell. And Inko, someone who has been there for him, but all she does is apologize. Over, being overcome by his hatred, he finds himself in this weird dark area where all he can see is one light, his eyes, and another person. A green version of himself, fueled by hatred, his own. Finally. Huh? Wait, who are you? I am you. I am the embodiment of your hatred, and thank you for freeing me after so long. And now, we have power. Do you know what this means? We can become heroes now. No. No, 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 no. You think way too small. What? Yes, we can become heroes now, but first, should we pay back everyone who's ever done us wrong? Kotsky, the quirk doctor, mommy dearest. They did nothing to help us. But Kowski, it's just because, because he is an arrogant jerk. Someone we need to put... I hate him so much. Wait, no I don't, yes you do. Or else I wouldn't be here. And the doctor... He didn't have to be so blunt. He could have been so much more nice when he said, Sorry, you're not getting a quirk. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use his ability to tear him to shreds. And old mom. She could have said plenty of things. She could have told us, don't worry, you can still be a hero. All you have to do is train. Quirks aren't everything. But what did she say? What did she tell us? That she was sorry? Yeah, yeah, she did, didn't she? That's all she told us. Sorry. Well... Who knows how far she... Uh, yes. How much of it is really her fault. But there'll be time for that later. First, we're going after Kotsky. What? 
as Izuku just watches as the green version of himself just disappears as he watches him from the outside move at incredible breakneck speeds and what does he see next? Katsuki.